Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to reload for the 4570 government cartridge. It's a 405 grain bullet. I'm reloading for the 1873 Springfield trapdoor. I'm going to show you the basics that you'll need. What I've done first of all on such a big case, I like to lube my, lube my cases. And what I do, I'll come in here, take some case lube, spray it on your pad here, roll it around a little bit, make sure it gets some on it. You're supposed to let that dry. I'm using a single stage press, it's a Lee press. It's less than a hundred dollars. I mean it's about as cheap as you, you can get to start out with. I'm using lime and dyes. 4570 each one of your dies are labeled that's the size and die it's got your decapping pin on it I've already got them uh, set with a set screw on my lock collar all I've got to do is uh, thread them into my press Thread it up finger tight will be good. And then what you're going to need. A universal shell holder set. These pieces slide in this uh, press. They just slide in the press and what they do, that's what you slide your uh, shell cases in. That holds your shell case in your, uh, in your press. It's got a little hub on the bottom of it, slide it in the press. Just like that, they'll lock in. Each one of the shell holders has got a number on it, it's got a little chart. You look up your caliber, whether it's rifle or pistol, it'll give you the number. <coughs> Already got these cases lubed. Like I say, just slide them into your, your case. And you want to take your handle all the way down. That should have deprimed it, and it did. Then I'll take a, a priming pocket tool, clean out my priming pocket. I've got one here that's electric, sits on the counter. You can turn it on. It's got a brush on the top. That'll clean your uh, primer pocket out. And then if you have to trim your case to length, I've already measured these. All of them are good. It's got a uh, inside reamer and an outside reamer. That will chamfer your edge of your brass so your bullet will load and the case will load in your gun. And what you want to do whenever you're doing a single stage press, you got to do all your steps at once. So you don't have to, but it, it's easier. No more than I'm doing today, I'm just going to do these by hand. And that's also resizing my case. Then after you get all your cases 
deprimed and slippery sized. Remove your die. And you can look on your other die. This shows expand. That's going to expand all my mouth of my cases so my bullet will sit seat in it. You just want to have just barely expand it. Just barely expand it. Now I've got all my cases expanded. You want to remove your die again. <coughs> and you've got one die left. That should be your seating die. Install that dude down. Just finger tight. Good. And there's your adjustment for your, for your seat that knows how deep to go. Using 4198 IMR. Pour about a couple inches in my hopper there. We got that all ready to go. Now what we want to do, I've got a, uh, a Lee bench prime right here. Got to it takes a separate shell holder set for it. They're just like the other shell holder. Got a little chart in them. It tells all your sizes. All different sizes for different calibers, pistol, rifle, whatever chart says I need a number eight for this too but these are different these don't have a shoulder on the bottom of them you can see your for your uh, single stage press it's got a uh, a hub on the bottom this one's smooth this has got a uh, large and small uh, primer base then these are separate these come out they open up to hold your primers you when you put your primers in there you want to make sure the primers are facing up the opened end will be up and you can tell on your uh, Your thing here says lock. Make sure it stays locked. Because if you put it to on or open, they'll come out the bottom of it. And what we want to do is slide this in this little groove. And that slides in that. Raise your handle all the way up and push down on that. Slide your, it's got a little groove right there. Slide your, uh, shell holder in it and you're ready to prime turn your primers on we picked up a primer I can see it in there push your primer in until it bottoms out say it's set your primer where you want to bring your handle all the way back up too for, for your next one Prime them pretty quick. 
got to bring your handle all the way up to make sure you pick up a primer I always look at my primer to make sure it's uh, seated fully you can look at it and tell when it is this is the cheapest way I know to reload ammunition as high as it is this right here will pay for itself and two or three boxes of ammunition believe me the worst thing now about reloading if you can find any of the components the powder the bullets which a, a lot of my rifle stuff depending on what they are well some of my rifle stuff and a bunch of my pistol stuff I'll use uh, cast bullets whole lot cheaper those are primed these are 405 grain bullets you can see the lube, lube groove in them I pan lube these these are that's made from homemade uh, lube I'll make a video on that and show you how I pan lube them now I've got the Lee Precision Deluxe Perfect Powder Measure. That's what they call it, and it's a mouthful. You want to take your uh, container, open it up. I've got it labeled. You've got to turn it to open it. And what I like to do for a few few charges, just it's got a little V-shaped funnel at the bottom. Hold hold your case up against it. I like to dump a few rounds in here to make sure that my hopper all that gets full of powder. This is a pretty easy way to uh, pretty fast way to load powder if you want to be real 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 precise they've got a powder trickler put powder in there it's got a little hole in the center of the rod right here take that nipple off set your scale under it put powder in there and all you, all you gotta do is turn that and just a flake or two of powder come out at a time that, that that's pretty accurate right there these are fairly good fairly accurate it's got your adjustments here you can adjust your it screws in and out adjust your powder grain pretty it's accurate enough for what we're doing here for target shooting and stuff like that it's 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 pretty good it's even good enough to hunt with doesn't take very long to load these like I say you just want to make sure you do uh, one step at a time with all your bullets to keep from changing stuff so much I mean all your cases do one step at a time Now we got all of our <coughs> cases loaded. I'm going to shut my hopper off. And I want to make sure I come in here and get all my powder out of my tube here. Because there'll be two or three loads in that hopper tube. I mean, it, it's going to only dump out one at a time. And you do it a few, few times, you can see that you're empty on powder. And what I'm going to do right now, 
make sure it's closed go ahead and return my unused powder to my container Now we're ready to load some bullets. Take a case and put in your shell holder. Take your lubed bullet. It should sit right up there. You may have to guide it in there. Just, you can fill it seat all the way down. And you can see we've got a crimp on the side of it. Now what I want to do take your uh, calibers your overall length is supposed to be 2.550 inches let's see if, how close we are Two oh five three nine. We're going to be a little uh, shy of that. Two oh five five zero is the maximum length. We're going to be a little under because all these cases were ten thousandths under. When you add ten thousandths to that, you're still going to be under your your maximum overall length. So we're in good shape. And you can see in a matter of, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, you can see that uh, we've got some rounds loaded. We're ready to go. This is an 1878 uh, Springfield rifle. It's a trap door. U.S. government model. That's what I reloaded for. Your shell goes in right in there, just a single shot. And you close your, your locking breech down right there. You're ready to shoot. Hey guys, I appreciate you watching.